Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Minolta Maxim 7000. It was introduced in 1985. This one's a somewhat later one. It doesn't have the crossed X's. Exxon Mobil, well back then it was just Exxon, sued them because it looked too much like their logo. Poor Minolta, they were also sued by Honeywell for some of uh, what went into the autofocus. There were some earlier autofocus uh, cameras and motorized film advance, but this was the first production camera to feature both. Uh, it was built around the automation, it uses the uh, Minolta A mount, which continues today as the uh, A mount in the Sony Alpha series. The aperture, obviously, is lens dependent. This one's a little bit of a step up from the kit lens, the 35 to 70 millimeter. This is a 28 to 85, uh, f3.5 at widest and f4.5 uh, at uh, max zoom. The shutter goes from 1 2,000th of a second to 30 seconds and when it's in program mode or aperture priority mode the shutter speed is stepless so it can match the exposure exactly. If you're in manual mode uh, it has the same range but it goes in normal uh, single stop steps. It'll read ISO 25 to 6400 or 25 to 1000 if you're using through the lens uh, flash metering. Uh, the DX uh, can be overridden so you can tweak things or if you you know load your own film and don't have a DX encoded canister. The stock grip takes four AAA batteries there was a bigger one that took double A's. Uh, there was another one that took a uh, six volt lithium battery. And there's even another one with a cord so you can have a battery pack in your pocket for extra power if you're shooting in really, really cold conditions. I got this beast of a flash. It's the Maxim 4000 AF. They had kind of small, medium, and large. This one is large. It has a 28 to 70 millimeter zoom head. Guide number 40 meters. This thing will throw a flash out to 131 feet. It's a pretty amazing flash and it's pretty tightly integrated with the Maxim cameras. Shooting modes, this thing has a program mode where it does everything but zoom. That's the only piece they didn't automate on these. Uh, aperture priority, shutter priority, full manual. The kind of buttony interface um, where you select the mode and then use these buttons to step through the values. It takes a little bit of getting used to if you're used to, you know, a manual camera rings for anything or even a modern DSLR where, you know, you're flipping through the me uh, menus to do things. But once you use it a little bit, it's really well thought out, really easy to use. So I'll uh, run a couple rolls through it, and I'll see you then.